And welcome back to Perspectives. Darren Jaime here with you. We're glad to have you here on this beautiful Tuesday night as we're celebrating Women's History Month. We're talking about an issue that, as we said at the top of the show, many people like to sweep under the rug, and that is the issue of depression. Many people suffer from it, deal with it from day to day, and are trying to cope with it. One lady who is here in studio is a very special guest of ours, and she's going to talk a little bit about her campaign to really raise awareness to the issue and try to help others cope. For those of you that don't know, her name is Terry Williams. She is a, a friend of mine. I'll tell you that she's a high-powered publicist. Not only is she a high-powered publicist, she has been a publicist to those like Eddie Murphy, Johnny Cochran, Miles Davis, Janet Jackson, you name it, in the African-American community and outside of the African-American community, Sherry Williams has been that noted publicist. She started her own group, the, her own company, I should say, the Terry Williams Agency, where she serves as the president thereof, and also the Stay Strong Foundation that deals with youth and mentorship. But today, she's here to talk about a new campaign that she's launched starting in March 2008. It's called Healing Starts With Us, which deals with the area of depression. She's got a book out, and it's called Black Pay. We'll talk about it. Terry, good to have you. I'm, I'm so happy to be here. And I probably shouldn't say this, but I'm, I'm just, like, so proud of you. I remember when you were, like, listen, I'm I, just saying, and you're not even using a teleprompter. You're awesome, brother. Thank you. Thank you. I'm, <laughs> I appreciate it. No, and, for real. And, I'm, and let me tell you, and I, this is all jokes. We're going to get this out of the way so we can start. When people talk to me about women in the industry, I always talk about you. And I talk about the power that you have. I talk about the work that you've done. And because I've known you since then <laughs> to know where you are right now, it's just a testimony of what you do, but I'm glad that you can come here and be I a guest on the I'm show. I'm so happy to be with you. Really. Oh, good. I'm glad to have you. Let's talk about this here because you've got a new book out, mm -hmm. and it deals with the issue of depression. Yeah. <laughs> and it's hard the to admit. The D word. The D word. The D word. That many of us don't talk about. That's right. That's right. And, you know, uh, we have to break the silence and the stigma of depression in our community. Uh, the pain, our community is dying. It's just plain and simple. I, th I think we see the pain screaming out at us every day uh, on the streets, uh, in our offices, in our homes, you know, in our families, our circle of friends. And I think that many of us haven't named our pain. We don't know what it looks like, what it sounds like, what it feels like, because everybody moves through their lives and we put that game face on and that mask on when we go out. That go out the door every day, mm -hmm. uh, and it's 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 something that's really crippling us. So I, like mm -hmm. I was just going to say, there are about like 19 million Americans who who live with depression, and I, in the year 2020, is projected to be the number two killer be behind heart disease, wow. and so it is like it's imperative for us to to talk about it. Mm -hmm. And for you, it's something that's very personal. Yes, because it's something that you struggled with and you overcame. I want to say this because at the top of the show, we talked about you being that public relations person. Mm -hmm. Eddie Murphy, Denzel, mm -hmm. Janet. Mm -hmm. You know, how's a sister like you going to get depressed? Because it has absolutely nothing to do with what you got, what your name is, none of that. I mean, Sister Monique, the comedian, mm -hmm. shared at our launch event last March that she said, she always thought that depression was a white woman's disease because when we felt bad, you know, you take a couple of Tylenols and a cocktail and call it a day. But the reality is it has to do all of us on this planet. We inherit the, we inherit the pain and suffering of our parents, mm -hmm. okay? All of the things that our parents wouldn't, didn't, couldn't talk about for a host of reasons because we learned to be silent during the times we were enslaved. Mm -hmm. We would be tortured, beaten, raped, sold from our loved ones, yet we had to learn to be silent because if you in any way try to, um, uh, to retaliate or to object, then the slave master would see fit to do more harm to you. Absolutely. So we learned to be silent, and we have passed that on from generation to generation. So you come out of your mama's womb, shaped by her pain, the pain of your parents. We inherit their gifts and their talents too, mm -hmm. but it's the pain that shapes us, and then you go out into the world, life happens, you see horrific things. People do horrific things to you. Hurting people hurt people. Sometimes even our parents call us out of our names, do mm -hmm. you know? So when we don't talk about the things that we have witnessed, the life transitions that have occurred, when we don't talk about it and we give all of ourselves away to other people, then depression can easily set in. Mm -hmm. And it's what happened, you know, to me. I, I had a breakdown four years ago. 
Um, it, what it looked like for me is that I would wake up every morning, uh, Darren, with this overwhelming, crippling sense of anxiety. I would lie in bed in the fetal position in tears. Just, I, I hate it. Sometimes it's hard for me to, t to talk about mm -hmm. it, um, but I think it's necessary to talk about it, but I would hate to see daylight. It would take every ounce of energy that I had to get up, to shower, to dress, and then to put the mask on. I was highly irritable. I snapped at people all the time. I would come home after a night of doing a movie premiere or whatever and just eat. Mm -hmm. That's how I self-medicated. I ate a lot. I slept a lot. Wasn't really answering the phone had no joy and was giving away everything to clients and to employees. And I'm a clinical social worker by training, mm -hmm. you know, so I'm supposed to know what the signs are. Stop there, because now I'm going to interrupt you and I'm going to give you something that you gave me. Years ago, mm -hmm. you told me this. Now, you see how you never, you never imagined how this, I think I was like, I can't remember how small I was. <laughs> you said this to me. You said, you have to remember life is like the airplane. And we were talking, and you said, I "Please, it, what the what does the lady say? You have to put, put on your own mask, mask over before your helping others." Yes. And you fell out of that. Don't we all? Don't we all? Yes, I fell out of it. Mm -hmm. And and you said that I'm like cured. I really consider myself a work in progress and and one who manages my uh, my depression. The reality is too many of us don't put the mask over our own mouths first. And you know what it is? I think that so many of us buy into the myth of the Superman and the Superwoman. It doesn't exist. So you might see somebody um, looking like they're juggling a million things, but at what cost? Right. And what I know is that if you don't put that oxygen mask over your own mouth first, if you don't give yourself time, if you keep saying, I don't have time to be depressed or take care of myself, I promise the mask will crack one day because that's what happened to me. I lost millions of dollars in revenue because I wasn't at the top of my game. Um, it was both the worst time of my life and the best because w what I know is that when God allows us, when we go through the fire and we come out on the other side, we find out what it is we're made of and we find out what we are called to do. And I am a, a more compassionate person and I found out what it was he really wanted me to do. And it was to, to speak about this because the silence is killing us. Mm -hmm. I, I shared my story in Essence Magazine five years ago and over, I got over 10,000 letters there. People saying, girl, you were walking down my street. Best friends didn't know, family members didn't know that these people were living with depression. Wow, and, 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 and in your own circle, nobody really knew. Uh, right. Most, most, uh, you know what? When you, you wear the mask, you lie. Like my own parents did not know until a month before the Essence piece came out. I didn't want them to worry. In my darkest moments, I was not suicidal, but I really didn't want to be here. It just hurt too much to be here. Mm -hmm. And um, so I would call them when I knew they weren't in and just leave a message. Hey, you know, I'm hanging in there, just kind of going through a little thing here or there. Don't worry if you don't hear from me because I didn't feel like talking to anybody. Right. Do you know? Right. But I can't tell you the untold numbers of people who just will not speak about it. And, and but you spoke about it. You got your book out. I did, and Black I got. Pain. I did, and I got people like Luda and Puffy and Monique and Terry McMillan to spill their guts. Mm -hmm. I, I got a lot of regular and well-known people to speak about their pain. I wanted the young brother, sister on the street who might be gangbanging all the way up to you know, some folks who are more accomplished, uh, and, and sometimes folks who, who have all the toys and the money, you know, they think that they're, uh, I still see your pain, even right. with all the wonderful things, things you've got, all the things you have, right. do you know? Exterior, yes. but on the means interior, nothing. we see your broke, means busted, nothing. and exactly. disgusted. Exactly, exactly. Let, let me take a break, let me okay. come back, we'll talk more with Terry Woods. We, I wanna talk about this, and uh, gonna talk about, she's going, she's taking the tour on the road and we're going to tell you where you can see her in just a few minutes we're dealing with the area of depression keep it real y'all stay with us we're coming right back right after this